FC Cincinnati, quite the run in its first season in operation. And today they find themselves with a home game in the playoffs. Our local club's Megan Moore is live now at Nippert Stadium with a preview of today's game. I know you got a beautiful day so far. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Liz. I know you guys are actually talking about that time lapse video too. Very cool to see them transform the field here at Nippert from UC's football game to now getting ready for the inaugural playoff game uh, today at four o'clock. And they are really hoping to sell this game out. And they're asking everybody to wear what? to wear white to the game. Now they were able to sell out for their friendly against Crystal Palace. 35,061 people were there to see that game. Yesterday they announced on Twitter that they have sold 25,000 tickets for this game. When I bought my tickets, there were very few seats paired together, so it will be a packed house. Now, this is a game you certainly won't want to miss. The team lost to Charleston Battery on the road back in March and then tied here at home in July. Today, we will see if they can bring home the win. Charleston as one of the two oldest teams in the USL has claimed four championships of their own. FC Cincinnati may be brand new, but they have had great success this year and worked hard, especially leading up to the postseason, going undefeated in September, going 4-0-1 in their final five matches. Charleston went 2-3-0 in their final five matches. And this will certainly be a game you won't want to miss. If you're coming out today, I hear that they are giving out to the first 5,000 fans a free orange megaphone to get this place pumped up. And again, kickoff is at 4 o'clock. Now, Adam has a very special guest in studio. Their general manager, Jeff Birding, is in to give a recap of their very successful season and to talk about where they go from here. Adam? Well, there may not be any Bengals football today, but there is playoff football here in the city of Cincinnati. FC Cincinnati in their very first playoff game in their very first season of existence. I'm joined now by President and General Manager of FC Cincinnati, Jeff Burning. Jeff, going back a year, did you ever envision it would be this big? Uh, no, not this big. <laughs> yeah, we've really taken the city by storm and we're obviously so grateful for the way the community's embraced us in our first year. That's what I want to ask you about is the community. This has never traditionally been a soccer town, but when you look at youth soccer, high school soccer, it really is, and I think that's a testament to what you've seen in the stands, in the bars, packing, cheering with merchandise. You're seeing a lot of FC gear out there. Uh, we knew Cincinnati was a great soccer market. We had just never had a pro team of our own. Uh, and we thought that if we brought a team at, at the highest level we could and ran it like you know, the Bengals with me or, or, or the Reds with the Linder family, that the community would rally around us. It's just, it's been amazing. And in the first year of existence to make the playoffs, Talk about the job the coach has done this year with these guys, bringing them all together for the first time and seeing this kind of success. Well, we certainly uh, committed resources to go out and get a winning team uh, that would play attractive, exciting soccer. So it was certainly our intention from the beginning to have a winning team that could compete for a championship. This city is so starved for postseason success. Uh, but John uh, and our coaching staff have done a great job getting the team ready every week. And, um, you know, it's, it's been, a, it's been a, a good one. But now it all starts today. That's right. Uh, one of the highlights of the season, uh, English Premier League coming over here, Crystal Palace, and wishing you a bit of luck for the playoff game here. We, we really built a strong relationship with, uh, with Alan Pardew, the manager, and, and their team. They're just a class act. Uh, they love their visit to Cincinnati. Uh, and to have them send us... Uh, you know, well wishes uh, and wishes good luck for uh, today's game. Just shows what a class act they are. Charleston Battery, what do you know about them? What is this team up against? Well, they're a good team. They're one of the oldest teams in the league. They've won the championship previously. They make the playoffs about every year. Uh, we lost to them in literally the last seconds of our very first USL game uh, back in March. Uh, at the beginning of the season, they scored a late goal to tie us uh, when we hosted them at Nippert over the summer. So it's going to be a good competitive game, but uh, I like our chances. Uh, can't let you leave before I ask you about the future. And I know everybody's talking about it. Everybody's thinking about it. MLS, Major sure. League Soccer, how likely do you feel FC Cincinnati will be a part of that moving forward? Well, we're pretty bullish on Cincinnati. We have a great city. I think we've proved it this year. We're a proven market. We have a proven venue. We have a proven team. Uh, we have proven ownership group. So what's not to like about Cincinnati? I echo those sentiments. All right, FC Cincinnati, Charleston Battery, 4 o'clock at Nippert Stadium, and it's a whiteout. Wear your white and support <laughs> the team. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Adam.
Uh, great to have this momentum. There are still, as you heard Meg mention, some tickets left for today's game. It starts, as Adam said, at 4 at Nippert Stadium. Remember, though, if you cannot make it down to the game, you can watch it right here live on Star 64, our sister 